scammed and angry. A Metro Detroit mom bought three tickets for a show from a person posting them for sale on Facebook. Yeah, there's a little trouble with those tickets. They were no good because the scammer had already sold those same copied tickets to dozens of other people. 7 investigator Jim Kirchner shows us this could easily happen to anyone. Anger, upset. Are you mad? Nicole thought she found a good deal on Facebook. Three tickets in the 10th row for the WWE SmackDown event this past Saturday. She met the lady and paid her 125 bucks cash. Yep, you guessed it. She was smacked down by a scammer. Found out by other postings, the scammer copied these tickets, bought legitimately through Ticketmaster, selling dozens of duplicates. So she contacted the seller on her cell phone a couple of weeks ago with this text exchange. Just want to make sure they are good. The seller replied, yep, definitely good. I've sold lots of tickets. Never any problems. Wrong. So I messaged her back and I said, listen, are you going to pay me, you know, or do I need to go to the police? No, you're working with me, so I'm going to pay you your money. And, and nothing. Nicole was taking her two sons, Leland and Maddox. Tell me what you wanted to see at the show. Undertaker. But get this, Nicole may still have won this bout. She researched the name on the tickets, Candace Roberts, different from the Facebook name, and found she may be a wanted parole absconder. The wanted fugitives past crimes, bad checks, and uttering and publishing, fraud. By the way, Nicole's friends went to the SmackDown, posting their fuzzy pictures online. We were home Saturday night. Westland police confirm they are on the case, and Nicole tells us they already made contact with the seller, telling her to turn herself in and do the right thing, pay back the victims. That hasn't happened yet, but Nicole has given the cops all the information they need to make that arrest. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.